Hello, my name is Wayne Morgan and I'm a metaphysical teacher and also uh, I've done study of crystals for the last 10 years. I've developed a dreamlet and one of the main reasons I started doing this type of research was that I found that, you know, with the human body, we take stuff to make us feel good, but our energy, our energy field of our body, that taking internally doesn't actually have a benefit to our energy field. So I thought, you know, crystals, crystals have a, have energy around them. And so I started working on the base where if you put a certain type of crystal near your body, does that have a reaction? You know, one thing uh, was funny is one of the main things that prompted me to do the research around dream space or use, using crystals in the bedroom was my younger son, Matthew, who, uh, was having night terrors. He, he he and he was consistently having night terrors, and I couldn't figure it out because we tried everything. And I mean, I'm, I'm metaphysical, you know, so we look outside the square anyway. And so we were looking at all sorts of alternative. Then we went to mainstream stuff, and we started looking at that, and nothing, you know, nothing touched it. He wouldn't sleep in his own room. He'd wake up at two, three in the morning, pretty much screaming. I mean, not just nightmares. We're talking night terrors, and and so you know that's what prompted me to start looking. At that part for my crystal research, so I started, uh, you know, trialing different combinations of crystals, uh, you know, in his room, uh, pyramid shapes, and different things, and some of them started to have an effect on him. And then, I, then I, but it wasn't strong enough. So then I started putting different types of crystals into his room, like more different kinds, and that then started to he get a reaction off that. And then I realised, you know, if I, the closer to his body I put them, the better reaction. So that's when. I started putting this together. We started to do trials with children around Auckland here to see, you know, if it would help generally with more than just my child, and yes, it did. Then we found that children who were having bedwetting problems, wow, you know, it helped that as well. And so then we started researching, okay, why does a child wet his, be wet his bed at night when he's, say, 19 or 11 years of age? We found that the dream space or the space they go to when they go to sleep is very cluttered and what these bracelets do is they lift us past that cluttered space and take us to a space that's quieter so in a sense they quiet our mind and so then we started trialing the dreamlet on adults and wow we saw results you know we saw this result adults started to get relief from insomnia so currently what the dreamlet actually does the, the science behind the Dreamlet, in a sense, is the Dreamlet is a freq frequency enhancing bracelet. Uh, uh, and attendantly, what it does is it's made up of diff eight different crystals, and each of those crystals have a vibration, and that vibration goes into your body, and, and like it heals you. So, when you sleep, is obviously the best time when you heal. So, when, we, when I was first developing them, I didn't realize that, that they heal you obviously when you're awake, but part of the byproduct of healing is you need to sleep. You need to you know, get sleep so when you wake up in the morning you feel good. I, I believe that complementary and, and mainstream medicines need to start working together a lot more because this bracelet helps with the metaphysical body, but other, other mainstream medicines also help to heal the internal organs while this is working. And so, you know, I think it's time for our, for our society to start really looking at some more change, you know. I mean, the general public you find out there as you survey them, they're starting to go, okay, you know, the mainstream stuff is not just working on its own. So what else can we do? Where else can we look for something that will help us? And, and you know, and, and there's a lot of problems with the young people and the children, you know, and, and especially teenagers. We haven't seen a lot of problems emerge with, you know, addictions and, and, and high suicide rates in New Zealand and Australia. The, the foundation that I work with, Soul Destiny Foundation, has a product arm and we develop products mostly based around crystal technology uh, that help heal the body. And so basically the dream it will heal you if you wear it and it'll help you get better sleep uh, and it'll help you to feel better. But dream it's cool because it helps you sleep but it also takes you to a nice space where you can have a dream and that dream is another part of why we feel better in the morning because if we have good dreams that's our metaphysical part see our metaphysical body is the dream space is part that part of that's inside the dream space and if we're not having any dreams or we're having negative dreams or nightmares i suppose that's not going to make us feel good so 
one of the other responses of these dreamers is it takes us out into the dream space where it's clear or we get clarity in a sense clarity of mind clarity of lower mind and it's funny because society is very consumed in the mind and that 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 consumption is uh because that's in balance. It creates a very large imbalance because the frontal lobes of the mind is a logical part of who we are, and that logic is how we analyze things. But if we get consumed in there, we start analyzing everything, and then we can't make a decision from the center of who we are, or our psychic, if you want to call that, or our intuition. I mean, you can label the center of who we are anything you like, but I like intuition, our center of intuition. If our intuition doesn't work, we cannot feel balance. So we can't feel good. And this is what this bracelet helps with.